right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out this video. Do a little uh, customization of my Opnel, 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 uh, high carbon number seven. Probably can't see that. Maybe you can. But, yeah, as you can see, um, I acid washed or etched the blade. Use some vinegar, some hot vinegar, you know, warmed up some vinegar, and uh, that's what you got. Nice and dark. Kind of protects the blades a little bit. You just gotta watch out wherever the surface of the vinegar, <clears throat> you know, meets the air and whatnot, where the blade sticks out. You'll uh, get some rust building up there, so you have to sand that off. But what I'm doing is sanding off this handle. Let me just real quick turn that light back on. I'm sanding the handle down. This side I've already started sanding on. This is way, way, way smoother. <laughs> uh, this rough finish isn't bad or nothing, but I'm going to take off all that and smooth it all out, round the edges a little bit. And uh, also, when you close this, you can see it's a little more on this side. It's close to the, the edge here. So I'm going to bring that edge in a little bit just so a little more room in there for the knife to go in. It's not rubbing that I'm noticing or, you know, enough where it's going to make any issue. But I just want it to look a little cleaner. So <clears throat> let's start Got some, uh, some 100 grit. Nothing too crazy, but nothing too soft at the same time. Let's see what we can do here. Now, <clears throat> you could use a sanding block, but I, I don't know. It's nice and rounded. I don't really plan on taking that much off where there's going to be finger marks or anything like that. So, I'm not using a sanding block. So, before you comment, you should be using a sanding block. Uh, no, thank you. I have one. I use it for a lot of things, but not not use it for this. This doesn't have to be perfect and neat and clean, but I just want it to kind of have my little touch to it. And <clears throat> I already touched the blade up and did that. Now I'm just going to make the handle look nice. Probably, uh, actually, it's not probably. I'm going to put some uh, boiled linseed oil on it. A couple, a couple coats of that, and uh, seal it up real nice. This freaking <clears throat> writing they got on there comes off pretty easy. I mean, bam, carbon's gone, damn near. So uh, it doesn't take a lot if you want to remove that from your knife.
but getting up here towards the your locking mechanism and all that you gotta be a little careful um i have a couple of smaller pieces of sandpaper little squares i'll probably use to get that real close uh without scratching it up try to get as close as possible right now obviously but try to mark it all up <coughs> Keep that looking pretty. Kind of soften that up right there. That lip. It's pretty even when you get it. Not really like it hang, you know, it overhangs on one side more than the other. But uh Yeah. I just like to make sure everything's nice and smooth and feels nice in the hand. I do like the shape and the design of the knife, so I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to take off that, that back. I've seen some videos where people shave it off more, where it's more uniform with the knife at the end. And there's, there's a lot of mods you can do because it's just a piece of wood right here. I mean, I can't see in there too well, but the metal, I mean, it's all right here. It's all your metal area, and then this is just a chunk of wood, so you could probably replace it with whatever you wanted, really. Um, obviously getting all the mechanics back together up there and whatnot. It's gonna be not the easiest piece, but if it was easy everyone would do it. See how light that color is underneath all this. Looks really nice. This beech wood. <clears throat> and I'm sure when you put the linseed oil back on it, it'll, it'll get dark again, but... I'm not sure if they treat their wood um, before you get it. it. Definitely doesn't have like a lacquer coating on it or anything when you get it. it might just be like... Maybe they even use linseed oil or maybe a beeswax or something to kind of seal it up. Something light because it doesn't feel like as much on the handle. I use my thumb when I'm sanding to stop it from going too far. Can't even tell where it said opal. Opal. <laughs> Opnel, Opinel, or whatever. People say it differently, and I'm just gonna call it my number seven. Not the op number seven. That sounds better to me. It's easier than trying to pronounce six different ways people say it. Got this kind of interesting pattern going on right here. Can't really feel anything, but interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up a little bit more, and then we'll we'll put in some linseed oil. Show you guys what happens when you when you add some linseed oil to this beech wood. So just hold on just a moment. All right. Wow, whoa! This video before it gets too crazily long, I'm gonna have to 
come back and have another video and show you guys more. So, eventually I'll have another video coming up. But, for right now, just the sanding of the handle is all you get. I'm sorry. I gotta finish sanding on the inside so the blade fits smoother and cleaner, neater, whatever. And then uh, finish sanding up here around the lock where it's going to take a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that'll be on the next video. I'll finish that up. So, thanks for watching.